Hello friends, let's look at the question. Find out the output of the following. So you have to find out the output of the below code. We will start with the main function. The first line says character C is equals to X into single inverted comma plus 256. Okay, so what they are trying to do here, X is a character plus 256 is an integer value and they are trying to add a character with an integer value. Is that possible? Having an addition of a single character and an integer value with the result as a character value. Is it possible? Yes, that is possible because each and every characters are treated as the integer value inside the compiler. Compiler follows ASCII notations. That is American Standard Code for Information Interchange. ASCII has total 256 characters starting from your capital A to Z, small a to Z, all the special characters and also the digits each and every character and digits has a special unique number as an ascii value and compiler translates your character into that ascii value and then process it and that is the reason you can add a character into an integer value okay so now what is the value of x so a small a starts from value 97 small a is 97 small b is 98 so on till z so z is 92 so if you try to print their ascii value you can see let us assume a simple program you are declaring a character variable cs having the value x and you are trying to print the value along with his ascii code so you say x is equals to percent d i repeat i have written percent d not c because percent c will return the character and I want its integer value. So I say percent %d, comma ch. And if you try to compile and execute this, it will tell you the ASCII value of x, which is 120. Am I clear? So now, if you solve this addition, it says 120 plus 256. Hold on, it will not go to 376. What it will do is total there are 256 characters inside an ASCII. So when you come at the end 256, you will be again starting, starting with the index 0. And that is why in any character, if you add 256, you will get the output as the same character. If you add 256 into x, the output will be x. If you add 256 into b, your output will be b. And that is why the correct option for this question is option a, x. After successful completion of a program, which value should be returned to the operating system? So the question is, when you are successfully executed a program, what value you should be returned to the operating system? So your program can have n number of functions and each and every functions may return something to the caller. The return value of the function is returned to the caller. That means the caller of the function. So if we talk about the main function, main functions call by the compiler automatically. 
so whatever value will be returned by main it will be returned by the compiler and ultimately to the operating system so when you say void main then there is no need to write and return statement and no need to return anything because void itself says that returns nothing but when you say int main that times you have to return an integer value but then the question comes what value so if so zero is the value which denotes the successful completion of a program when zero is associated with the return statements it tells the operating system about the exit status of the program it tells the compiler that program executed successfully it worked all fine and it does what it is expected to do and that is why every time when you write integer main for the successful completion of a program you should write return zero so option a is the correct answer find out the output of the following code we start with main function the first line says integer r is equals to 2 comma 0 comma 1 so you are declaring an array of size 3 of type integer having value 2 0 1 respectively the next line says print f percent d r of r of 1 oh so do you think this is a compilation error r of r of 1 so this is not the compilation error if you try to solve this expression you can see r of r of 1 can be r of what is the value of r of 1 so if you look into the value r of 1 has value 0 so r of 1 will be replaced with 0 and now you have to find out the value of r of 0 so r of 0 is nothing but Two and that is why two will be printed on the output screen. So option C two is the correct answer for this question. Find out the output of the following code. First line says integer i is equal to zero three four nine eight. That means you are declaring a variable i of type integer having so value. Next line says print f percent d i and the same value you are trying to print in if you look at the value carefully you will see the value starts with 0 and when the integer value starts with 0 compiler treats the value as an octal value not as an decimal value so now this value compiler will treat as an octal value octal value starts from 0 to 7 octal value has eight digits so it starts from 0 to 7 so it cannot have digit 8 and 9 i repeat myself octal can have eight digits so it starts from 0 to 7 and that is why it cannot have digit 8 and 9 that is why the compiler will throw an error at this line so correct answer for this question is option d compilation error let's look at the code snippet the main function has three printf statements first printf statement says slash and pq second says slash brs and the third one says slash rtu now what are these backslashes so backslashes are nothing but the escape characters so when we talk about backslash n it is a new line character it will take you to the new line so pq will be printed on the next line 
then program says printf slash b r s what does a slash b do a slash b backspace one character that means it removes the last characters and check its position so currently pq is printed on onto the output screen so q will be deleted and cursor is at q and then it will print rs so p r s is now printed onto the output screen then next line says printf backslash r t u what does a backslash r do it doesn't removes or deletes anything but it will take you to the start of the line from where you your line starts it will take you there so right now on screen p r s is printed it will take you to the position of p and tries to print t u so p will be replaced with t r will be replaced with u and s will be as it is and that is why p i'm sorry and that is why t u s will be the output which will be printed on the output screen option d is the correct answer look at this code snippet what we are doing here declaring a variable i of type integer next line declaring variable j of type float and next line says j equals to i equals to 9.3 okay let me make it very clear when your compiler executes any statement it will starts is its execution from the right side so what it will do it will allocate this 9.3 to the variable i but i is of type integer it cannot store your precision value so by default compiler will truncate this 9.3 value to its integral part which is 9 so 9 will be stored inside i and the value of i will get stored inside j so i has an integral value of 9.3 which is 9 that means i has the value 9 and as the program says j is equals to i also j has the value 9 not 9.3 and when you try to print the value of i and j it will print option b 9 9.00000 9 so this is the correct answer of this question वीडियो अच्छा लगा हो तो इसे लाइक करें और अभी तक अगर आपने हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो प्लीज इसे सब्सक्राइब करें और नई वीडियो के नोटिफिकेशन के लिए बेल आइकन को दबाएं